Tonight is a magical night. Where I choose the cat that deserves a new life. Is there like a state of mind you need to get into to become a cat? For me, on long film days, it would uh, the first sense you have as, as humans is, is, is the sight. You're, we're very visually yes. oriented and cats aren't. That's like the least um, that they have and that they use. So it was as soon as I just thought of turning my eyes off and then just listening or smelling, it kind of got me into less human but more for me, it wasn't really a state of mind, more like a state of physicality, and there were different tricks that we learned at cat school, like standing asymmetrically, automatically. See, if I'm standing normally, it makes me look more like a person, but if I'm asymmetric, it makes me look more cat-like. Yeah. And um, and moving the, sh the shoulders a lot, uh, how cats would would use their front limbs. Um, there, were, there were different tricks like that to try mm -hmm. to help you click in. What are the do's and the don'ts when it comes to uh, bringing a classic to the, the movies? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I, I, I think it's probably the best answer is it, it, it has to come from the right place. And for me, it came from the position of being a fan. So I, I, I saw the musical when I was eight years old. My parents took me in 1981 when it was just opened. And, it, and I just fell in love with it. It blew my mind. It was, so, it was such an extraordinary piece of theater, particularly in that. It, it, at that time, it was very groundbreaking, the way it was staged, what Trevor Nunn did. Um, and so in many ways, I, I've directed the movie because I, because I fell in love with it as a child. I owned the cassette of the album, I listened to it incessantly. Um, and, and, and so I, I've always directed it from the point of view of understanding what it's like to be a fan, and therefore I hope I'm respectful to that. Going to the ball could get dangerous. I think one thing actually that I love about the relationship between the two characters is that one reminder, I guess, that sometimes it only takes one person to take a chance on that you. That is true. How has that, how has that reflected in your own careers? I, I feel like I've had a, a lot of um, people um, at different points in time to take me under their wing or, or, you know, that person that lift you up when you're down. And I've been that person too to others. So that storyline is, is familiar and definitely something I feel like we all can relate to yeah absolutely i think um you know i'm here today because of so many people right. that um saw some potential in me and pushed me to be you know better than i thought i could be so yeah i judge a cat by its soul i've got plenty of soul i just met you about like a minute ago <laughs> but mm -hmm. i kind of feel like there's a lot of jason in rum tum togger am i right or um, there is uh, there is a bit of Jason in Rumsum Tugger, but uh, he's a little more in your face, um, uh, loud, <laughs> uh, crazy, crazy facial expressions. He's a lot more. Um, I guess he's he's me on steroids. And I feel like uh, somehow it has something to do with being self-confident, isn't it? Definitely. In a career like this, that's, that has to be hard because you're exposed, all, you know, all the time. How do you build that confidence? Um, well, it helps when you're the best in the world. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly speaking, uh, I feel like the more you're prepared for any situation, the less nervous you get. And um, just the preparation, you know, doing the homework, doing all the time, um, being obsessed with your craft. The nerves go out of the window when you're exactly sure what's going to happen. Spotlight and a drum roll, please. Milk! I was wondering, after a career like yours that mm. keeps going, because you know you still do. Yes, I, I try to look forward rather than back. But why not look back if, if if you're looking back to times that you enjoyed? And what's the greatest thing you've learned from everything you've been through since you started as an actor till now? That now people go see a film because you're in that film. Well, William Shakespeare in one of his plays put it like this. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players, actors. Wow, what a way of looking at human life, that we're all acting. And we are. We select what parts of our personality to present, and we're very adept at being, being different depending on the company that we're keeping even to the extent that the language we might use with our friends socially would not be the language we would use when we were with our grandparents, let's say. So, mm. 
But human beings are very good at disguising themselves. Animals are hopeless at it. <laughs> yeah. You cannot just tell yourself and give yourself limits. If you want to be, you will be. And it's not a little person, a small guy like me, with another one trying to look like me, cannot make it. I make it because I believe it. And it's no magic. I had no money, I know nothing. And uh, you see me from, a, from a, me in the street, performing in the street years ago, to right now who I become. So it's not you living, wherever you're living with all the social media exists in the world cannot become wherever you want to be. So it, doors will be open for you. People are looking for new artists every day and everybody had a chance to be whoever they want to be. The serving cat will be reborn into another life. Your character somehow reflects something that I guess if all of us go through sometimes, you yeah. know, and especially in, in, in an industry like yours where I guess sometimes you can be forgotten and make a bad move. Like, do you think there are a lot of Chrisabellas in Hollywood as well? Oh, yes. That, that definitely. And I think that was something that helped me relate to the character because it's like the saying goes, the, the, harder, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. Or um, it's one of those things. Like, she was once, I believe, the cat that brought everybody together. And then all of a sudden, she's rejected by those same cats, you know? So, yes. Now it is time to make the choice. Right, well that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> that's what I say to you. <laughs> Cross pause. Come, we're about to begin. I love it.